Hi everyone, this is your girl Nina Budgets. On this channel, we do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenge, and a little bit of story time. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're gonna be cash stuffing $775. So let's go ahead and get the money out of our wallet and do a quick cash count. I'm going to put my wallet to the side here because we will be putting money in there. Okay, I'm going to be using our calculator. So we have 100, 200, 51, 52, 50, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, and I'll fix those. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, forty five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Just want to make sure all my money is right. Before we get started, I do this as well when I go to my part-time job. Before I even turn that light on, hit that switch, I make sure my money is right. Oh, and while I was at the bank getting money out, I noticed they gave me a $10 bill with a um, star next to it. So this is a reprinted 10. Let me fix this 20. I hope everyone is doing okay. I thought I would go ahead and do this video because the lighting was good this morning and what's better than a little bit of natural sunlight. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I do have some rollover money in my wallet. I made me some envelopes for my wallet. Got rid of the other ones that I told you all I was gonna be getting rid of. Finally, and I actually have a little bit of change in my um, wallet as well that I need to add. So let me get the rest of that out. And we will go ahead and get that added to our change jar. This thing is getting heavy. We're almost to the top. We have a little bit more to go. Once that is completely up there, we will go ahead and get those rolled over. Okay, so in my spending, I should still have the same 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Still have the same 20. Um, this is going to be rolled over, and then I'm going to use the ones and fives in my one and five savings box. And groceries, of course, we use some money out of there. We have $41 left over. This is going to be rolled over as well. That $1 bill is going in my one and five. And then gas. We have 20, 30, 1, 2. That's going in my 1 and 5, and this is being rolled over. So for rollover, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fill my wallet back up. I got some new envelopes that we're going to be doing today. Super excited. this out of the way so in groceries we're doing $200 and we're gonna do two $100 bills and that's gonna be groceries for this week and then for personal spending I'm gonna get another 20. It's gonna be 10, a five, and five ones. Actually, I don't wanna use this because I wanna save this. I'm gonna put that in my something that doesn't get used, which is gonna be my savings challenges. So let me grab another 10. 10, a five, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I got more of a 
jankier vibe, which I don't think that I do. I really have some good vibes in here. So, I do not. A 10, 5, 5, 1. So, we got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. It's going to be in my personal spending. And I really hope this lighting is good. Um, I just thought natural light, it's, we got a little bit of snow on the ground. Why not use this natural light? I do have my light on in my bedroom, though. So, I am filming this in my bedroom. Um, for gas, we're doing $80. So, we're doing a 50, a 20, and a 10. 50, 70, 80. And that's going to be all for my wallet. So we're going to go ahead and get that put back in there. So let's go ahead and move into our high priority binder. Okay. We're going to start out in savings. So in savings, savings is going to get $25. We're going to do a 20 and a 5. So, get this money right. Savings noun has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 175. I'm gonna put that tracker in the back. Probably get some new trackers. I don't know, we'll see, or make some new ones. And emergency fund, we're also gonna do $25. I'll keep it right there. So we're doing a 20 and a five. We have $500 in the bank. This is a placeholder that represents the amount of money that's in our high yield savings. So we have 500, 600, 650, 70, 90, 710, 730, 40, 50, 65, 75. So 775 in our emergency fund. And I will update my trackers off camera. So next we have car maintenance. And car maintenance is also getting 25. Um, car maintenance has gone down some because I did have to have some, um, we had some um, work done with my husband's car. So we had to pay um, some deductible money. And so we had to use some of the money in our car maintenance. So um, today car maintenance has 100, 150, 170, 85, 95, 200, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So 230. CJ Savings is getting skipped for now. We're going to go ahead and move on to the, let's see, CJ's Hobbies. And I did spend money on my necessities. I had 140 yesterday. Had to get my hair done. I got my nails done. I have a wedding that I'm going to tomorrow. So I wanted to, you know, get myself together. So we're down to $10 in there. So we're skipping the necessities for now. And we're going to move on to CJ's Hobbies, which is training. So that's getting $25. So he now has $50. And I believe that's going to be all for my high priority binder. I'm not putting anything in my low priority binder right now. I didn't have anything allocated at the moment. I do have this um, $80 of rollover money. I have not yet decided what I'm going to do. So once I get done with my savings challenges, then I will decide what we're going to do um, with that $80 that we have. All right. So let's go ahead and do our 100 envelope. 
and I had to get a different green marker today because I don't know where my marker went. I don't know if one of my kids used it. I have no clue. I don't know what has happened to it. So anyway, we're going to move on. So today we're doing 83, 82, 81, 18, 19, and 20. So let's go ahead and get started. So 83 is going to be, oops, sorry, 50, a 20, 10, that's 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, and then we're doing 82, 50, 70, 80, 1, and 2, and then we're also doing 81, so 50, 70, 80, 81, there we go, and this should be $303, so let's just get this money all together in some type of order, and then we'll be able to count it up, make sure we got 303. Okay, 51, 50, 170, 190, 210, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 46. Duh, it's not 303 because I haven't done 18, 19, or 20. Let me go ahead and add 18, 19, and 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then 20 is a 20. Okay, now this should be $303. Let me get it back together, y'all. Sorry about that. I was tripping. Okay, so now we should be at 303. And our savings challenges. 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300, 1, 2, 3. Yes, 303. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the envelope. A little full here. Let me go ahead and get these colored in. That this week's paycheck was like thirty dollars short. My employer, there we go. My employer accidentally charged the company. Um, a $30 biomet biometric screening fee and a um, spousal surcharge fee. So that made me $30 short this week in my portion of my paycheck. Um, so yeah, I had to call HR and be like, hey, I was charged this. I had my biometric screening done. My husband also did his survey and they're like, yep, we have it in here. We know that there was an error on our part. So we are going to be fixing that for everyone. We apologize. And I was just like, okay, great. So they know what's going on. They know what's happening. So they said it'll be on next week's pay. Well, not next week, but I get paid again in two weeks. So they said it would be on that paycheck. So I was just like, okay, it is what it is. Nothing that I can do about it. Okay, moving on to our 30 day savings challenge. We are gonna put $60 in. So we have a 50 and a 10. 50, our total is 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. And we're gonna color in $60. I think I'm gonna do 10. And 60. Yeah, so they were very much aware of it and knew that they had made that mistake and said that they were going to rectify it, but it wouldn't be on until the next paycheck, which is two weeks from now. So I was just like, mm hmm. Okay. 
Give me my money. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in. This is our 30 day savings challenge for the month of March. So I'm doing the 30 day savings challenge and the $500 savings challenge. I'm alternating them back and forth for each month. So I've already completed the 30 and the $500 savings challenge um, once already uh, for January and February. So now this is for March. Okay, so that's going to be it for our savings challenges for today. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put $12 in our $1 and $5 savings box. So 5, 10, 11, 12. And then we have some rollover money left. Um, I got my nails done, so I probably won't get them done again for at least, um, I don't know three weeks, three or four weeks. I usually go like once a month. So as I did not put anything in my necessities, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some money there. Let's see. I'm thinking I'm gonna put some money there. And I also got my hair done, so Let's put $50 in there. So we now have 20, 40, 60 in my necessities. And then we have $30 left. So where do I want to put this 30? I'm thinking that what I will probably do is maybe add some money to CJ savings, my daughter's necessities, CJ's necessities. Oh, you know what? I need to put some money in gifts too. And then I'll put money in here next week when my husband gets paid. Um, so thirty dollars. Let's do let's do five in CJ's necessities. Let's give us some change back. Hopefully he has five dollars in here. He does. So let's add this ten in there. In his savings, sorry. So he has 120, 30, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. We kind of make that an even. Oh, that's what it is. I put a dollar back instead of five dollars back. I'm like, what is going on? I should, I mean, we need that to be evened out. So, 120, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now he has 155. Okay, I've already added money into mine. Let's add some in. Let's put five dollars in Jasmine's. So now she has 20, 40, 55, 62. Why does CJ's okay? Because I put it in his. What did I do? I put it in CJ's and not Jasmine's. Well, I need to put it in his anyway. I was going to do him as well. 20, 40, 55, 61, 2. He already had 62 in here. No, he did not because he spent $5 for, um, yes, he spent $5 uh, for school. So let me put this back here. Just confusing myself all the way out because I knew he had $5, but I hadn't updated the tracker because I hadn't done it yet. So he's back at 62. 20, 40, 55, 61, 2. He's back at 62. He was $5 less because he wanted to do dress down day at school and it was $5. So we took $5 out of there. Okay. We're on, we're on track now. We are on track now. Okay. So Jasmine has 30. And we're going to give her $5, so I need to break this down. Let's see. Got 
got some fives in here. Let's just take some fives out of here. So five, ten, fifty, twenty. Here we go. I took twenty dollars out of my bit envelope. Put twenty dollars back in. this tracker to the back. And then let's go ahead and give Jasmine her five dollars. So she now has 35. And we have fifteen dollars left. Now what I said was I was going to put that Oh, in birthdays and gifts because I do have to get a I actually have to go get a um, gift card today for the wedding that we're going to tomorrow so birthdays has 10 20 30 45 6 7 8 9 50 so we'll go ahead and put this last $15 in birthdays um, my son's birthday is coming up so we'll send him a little something so birthdays now have 10 20 30 45 55 60 1 2 3 4 5 all right. And that is it. We got our rollover money put up. Now let's see how much we're putting in our one and five dollar savings box. Let's get this money, count it up. Count, count, count it up. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes, we're going to put 25 in there today. And I hear my kid waking up. There we go. Okay, guys, if you made it with me all the way to the end of the video, I really appreciate you so much. Please go ahead and give me that like, that comment, and that subscribe. I also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really was not anticipating that I would get some more subscribers that quickly. I mean, I believe I'm only up to like 21, but that is okay. I'm 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 very appreciative. I love it. Um those who have subscribed to me thank you so much for watching my videos and if you have not subscribed and watched my videos i appreciate you for watching as well please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me though i really need that hit that for me so again if you um like this video go ahead and leave me a little comment if there's anything you think i need to do or anything you would like to see in the next video um go ahead and leave me a comment with that as well i hope everyone has a great rest of the day i'm about to get ready for work um for my part-time job and um, i'll see you guys next week for another cash stuffing bye